The COVID disaster in India has tragically taken the life of a young, healthy father of two from Borkham Hills. Nine News has spoken to the man's sister here in Sydney who has lost her mother, father and brother to the virus in just six weeks. <laughs> Govind Kant, an Australian citizen stuck in India, now dead from COVID, at just 47 years old. Good evening, everyone. My name is Govind Khan. Devastated is an understatement. Lost. His sister, distraught, but wants his story told. Govind didn't get a chance to say goodbye to his mother when she passed away in India, at the time saying, I am so sorry, Mummy, I was not with you. He flew over for her funeral six weeks ago. He really wanted to go and do that for our mother. But while Govind was there, his father caught the virus as well. He passed away due to COVID because we couldn't get him a bed. In the midst of two life-defining losses and after weeks trying to get on a plane back to Sydney to be with his wife and two daughters, Govind finally had a seat booked. But it was too late. There was a sudden surge of the COVID virus in India and he was COVID positive. The High Commission in New Delhi tried to help. Was he desperate to come home? Oh, absolutely. He mm -hmm. was. He kept because he couldn't talk anymore, so he kept saying, "Get me out of here." It's that feeling of helplessness. Govind died in a Delhi hospital on Sunday night. He became COVID negative. It's just that his lung damage was extensive. So, in in the space of six weeks, you've lost your father, your mother, and your brother. Yes. And there are still 9,000 Australian citizens just like Govind who are trapped with little prospect of getting home. If they don't have COVID, they should be here now. I feel terribly sorry for their family, just like I do for any Australian family who have lost loved ones while they've been overseas. The Prime Minister says travel caps and the travel ban keep our quarantine system strong. But with 25 million cases, travelling to India for funerals is being denied. Since the 23rd of April, more than a 1,000 people in Australia have sought permission to go to India. Now we've said no. But that's no help for Australian citizens who the government allowed to travel in the first place. Right now the situation in India is so bad that they will... They may contract the virus by being there. They need to be brought here ASAP. Have a good evening, everyone. Thank you. Chris is with me in the studio. Chris, I think everyone wants to know, could the government be doing more to get these people home faster? Well, Peter, they have six evacuation flights booked for the rest of the month. Three of them will go into Howard Springs. The others will go to Sydney, Brisbane and Melbourne. But given the first flight only came home half full due to the high positivity levels, that's at very best just 600 people being brought home of the 9,000 who are desperate to get out. The truth is, the longer we leave our citizens in India, the more chance they have of catching COVID. So on those numbers, Peter, we should brace ourselves for more deaths. All right, Chris, thank you.